Demon Slayer in a nutshell, go. So we have our main boy Tanjiro just out here vibing. Yo, your mom kinda bad. Yo, Tanjiro, put that sword down. I was joking, I was joking! <laughs> what is that, bro? Why are you smiling? You should be depressed walking around like that. What did I cut your crusty ass hair with? A lawnmower? Your barber blind? <laughs> ah, what a big happy family. Gone. So Nesco was the only one still alive. So our boy Tanjiro decides to do some Tokyo Drift maneuvers to get her ass to a doctor. But Nesco clearly off the perk, thinking, "Nah, if I'm dying, you dying too." Yeah. Yo, this is no time to play in the snow. Let's go. Eren Jaeger. Oh hell no, nah, that's a whole ass demon. Look at her go. So while homie out there doing some good old play fighting, this dude shows up from nowhere with a whole ass sword, almost ending my man's life. Did she just shrink? Bro, my man be using those Goku moves. Instant transmission on their ass. Yeah, Nesco is not happy. Damn, right in the chest? Have some manners, dude. What you gonna do about this, bro? Right in the spine. That shit probably cracked in two. Yo, bro, you good? Nah, I'm kinda struggling here. What about you? Yeah, this bitch won't let go and get this. He stabbed me. No. Yeah, no. What a bitch. That's what I'm saying. So Nesco breaks free and goes crazy on my boy. Like she's out here jumping off trees oh and shit. God. Yo, are they about to kiss? Maybe not. Yeah, he let them go, but he put his finger in her mouth. Pause. So she can't go around shooting on people. So homie out there respecting his dead fam while Nesco totally zoned out. And there they go. Yo, Nesco straight vibing. She on her mole activity. So because she's a demon, she kinda just vaporizes if the sun catch her lacking. So her handyman himself built a sunproof basket so they can move during the day. I don't think she fits. What the fuck? Do flip! Well, would you look at that? So homie picks up vest, someone just got clapped by a demon scent, so they went to check it out. Yeah, it turns out they too late. Zero two to the demons, am I right, Tanyero? <laughs> Put the knife down. Yeah, this demon wastes yeah. no time. Damn, homie got cut clean. With those skills, you could at least give him a man a lineup before he died. Yeah, I agree. That looking hella tasty. But Nesuko got a call from God and said, Freak that demon. Bro, he sent her to another dimension. When everything goes wrong, use your head. Not like that. Bro, she had enough. Yo, Tanjiro, this ain't Isekai. It's okay though, we have Nesuko. Oh shit, he really about to shank him. Yeah, before he grows a pair of balls, this guy shows up and thinks, nah, this kid ain't eat and slap the shit out of him. Training arc. So basically, to pass this old man's test, he has to make his way back down the mountain before the morning. That sounds so easy. Even my fat ass could do that. Meanwhile... I take everything back. Oh shit, homeboy made it. So basically demon's bad. But demon slayers? Homie out here going crazy with that sword. But he's still getting clapped by grandpa. Look at poor Tanjiro. <laughs> Homie just went through all the stages of grief. So all you gotta do is cut this rock. Yeah, that shit is easier said than done. So homeboy out here losing hope when this dude shows up and tells him to shut the fuck up and kicks him right in the throat. Who is this kid? He's coming with all the smoke. And now he's laughing at you now, nah, bro. You have to do something about this. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> nah, just kidding, the MC never dies. And who is this? <laughs> yeah, this lolly decides to become his mentor or something until he can beat Furry Boy over here. 75 years later. Yo, Tanjiro, you good? It's been so long. It's fucking snowing now. <laughs> Boy, you ugly as hell. Put that shit right back on. He sliced the rock. Can we just talk about this scene? Like, where is homie going? Tanjiro giving himself a fresh cut? Yo, that joint kinda weird. So homie gets ready to go to the final selection with some drippy clothes and of course we can't forget to say goodbye to Nesuko. Bro, this guy a whole menace. He be telling blind people to watch their step. Yo, is that Brem and Bram? Copy on breathing first form. I didn't know Tanjiro was smoking that good stuff. And they both dead. Homeboy made the biggest fumble of his life cause now he's dead. Get you some crunchy boy. No! Yeah. Ew, go see a dentist. You taking your ass to sleep anyway, good buddy. Go your motherfucking ass to sleep. That's what happened when you don't have plot armor. He got saved? I guess the author liked him a little bit more. They both dead? That's what happened when you listen to this guy. Something's in
Pussy. Trim still dead. Kinda like his whole family. Homie really ate the whole preschool. Why that joint so veiny though? Damn, only four survived? There were at least five when it started. Of course this dude made it. Oh, that reminds me. Homie definitely got clapped. That's what you get for being a p- Yo, what kind of iPhone is that? Bro, homie pulled the Android. What the fuck, amigo? Hey, don't do brand like that. Or else I'll break your arm. It's not that deep. And why is she standing there? Even the crowds are dripping. What the fuck, you and he finally made it home. Somebody. Nezuko. So wholesome. Even grandpa got emotional. I see them tears. Two weeks later. Excuse me, the circus is the other way. Dude is definitely high on something. Maybe some of that shit Tanya was smoking. So the sword turned black and homeboy felt really strong about this certain situation. Look at this cute couple. Yeah, bro, they do that. Nezuko not looking excited one bit. No matter if you want to or not, you getting in this box. And never coming out again. So they meet the dude whose girl left him. Hey, yo, what is homeboy looking hey, at? Hey, you smell that? Demon activity. Do any shit. Why would you say that? Look at your stupid ass getting kidnapped now. Do any shit. It's alright though. Our boy is on the case. Gravity, hello? <coughs> You're lucky the main character was in your neighborhood because now you got saved and more screen time. I don't think he's happy you took his girl. <laughs> Why is his lips moving like that? Yo, he pulled up with the whole gang. But Tanjiro didn't come to play. Yes, officer. This one right here. Homie doesn't even know what to say to that. There is no way. Homeboy has a whole collection. And that one looking kind of familiar. Yeah, she already long gone. Ah, uh -huh, now you fucked up. You made Tanjiro mad. Wait, what is this? A Nezuko turned homie into a Beyblade. Yeah, that boy dead. Don't go around disrespecting Nezuko. And there he goes into the deep depths of the unknown. And creates a whole whirlpool. So homie has been chilling when he remembers that he has to breathe. Meanwhile, Nezuko on her one punch man activity. Nezuko is going crazy. Bro, wait till Tanjiro hears about this. Speaking of Tanjiro. Well played. Yeah, he just dips, leaving this guy crying. Wait, we in Tokyo? And Nezuko is sleeping? Yo, Tanjiro, what's that? Was that Michael Jackson? Bro, really out here about to slice him up in the middle of the street. Wait, he has a kid? And a wife? Yeah, Mr. Jackson just leaves. This is what happens when you be smoking that stuff. Drugs is cringe. So MJ sends off his wife and kid to do some demon things. Imagine being this unlucky. Homie is trying to have a good time and ran into Mr. Satan himself. Damn, he still got them moves. Yo, this turned dark hella fast. Kind of the opposite to Michael Jackson. Kill them kids. So we back to Nezuko and she looking mad confused. I don't even gonna say nothing. What did you just call her? Get him, Tanjiro. This is what perfection looks like. What the fuck? What a sim. What is up with people having no soul? Bro, leave my homeboy alone. Yo, is that... Nesuko Fee? Oh, come on. Oh, shit, the squad is here. She about to dunk on homie. <laughs> There's no way homie is growling. That's not how you play basketball. Kobe? Yeah, I think you can guess what happened. Did I tune into Formula 1? Bro, why you gotta ruin the game? What in the whole attack on Titan? Nah, put that shit right back on. She a whole one-man army. LeBron would have no chance. Man just tapped into the Matrix, moving like Keanu Reeves. Where have you been? She is pulling up like... Where the chicken at? So our boy is out there running for his life while Nezuko... Well, she's doing Nezuko things. Tanjiro the only dude that looks cool slicing up some balls. Can we talk about how they have no bones? Demon's too cool for skeletons. Damn, I know that shit hurt. Her tricep development is not really that good. You can see that the bicep is much bigger. Watch out, here comes a flying Nezuko. Why are they always gonna do my man dirty? Tanjiro will be using all of his plot armor. <laughs> Why are he running like that? Man's just out on a light yog. Bitter ass. Bro, can they like fuck off? This shit taking too long. No, Nezuko. This ain't football. <laughs> Why are they always sending her flying? <laughs> Even leaving homegirl in disbelief. Look. That ain't your ma. Homie out there giving Levi a run for his money. And there he goes. Homie really be doing everything but give up. Even turning into a dog. Bruh, this chick is just on something else. Nezuko be drinking her milk. Them legs are made of steel. There you go. Okay, maybe this is football. Oh shit. She mentioned MJ. And I thought anime was for kids. Ah, what a wholesome moment. Bro, that still ain't your mom. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, where the chicken at? Let me tell you, that bird wouldn't survive one day around me. Oh, look, it's the worst character. No, dead ass, how can you like him? Go get him, Tanjiro. Someone had to do it. Put him down. Those kids lost all hope and their souls. So it seems like the brother got kidnapped or something. I didn't really listen. I was playing Clash of Clans. Yo, that sound kind of creepy. I can't even focus on my game. Man. Sounds like a whole party in there. So this is what they mean when they say the party was deadly. Please, someone take this man out. These kids dumber than bricks. Yeah, I'm looking at you, you dumbass bitch. I don't know, something ain't right here. Nah, those nails are foul. Someone get this man a pedicure. Let's check on Sinitsu. Oh, he already dead. She. That's the wrong door. Homie be running like he's straight out of Subway Surfers. This guy is really one with the music. You gotta respect it. What an entrance. This man in Nosuke be out there stepping on kids. Do something, Tanjiro. <laughs> nah, someone has to put this man down. He's too dangerous to be alive. Hello, someone here? Zoro? Oh, fuck no. The dog don't bite. The dog. Look at them hips move, though. Looks like he's passing it to spend time. Huh? Oh, he really about to fuck shit up. <laughs> That's what I do to your mom. And he's clean with it. Back to being a pussy. Reunited at last. Tanjiro a goofy ass dude, man. And the bird be busting out some moves. Yeah, yeah. He's back. Even the house wants to send his auto there. And that's a wrap. That's what you get for helping people. Yellow boy can't catch a break. He can protect a box, but not a kid. That's some weird ass priorities, man. I thought we already went over this. Don't piss off Tanjiro, or you will get folded like an omelette. There is no way this man is laughing right now. Alright, he about to go crazy. What is even going on? Homeboy turned into a whole ass missile. Very cool. And that's a good game. Even his mask fell off. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> you trying to say something, buddy? Yeah, peace out cold. Later. <laughs> Homie's always turned up. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, stupid bitch? That's right. If you don't see the problem, it doesn't exist. There is just too much to take in. Wait a second. This bird is racist! Fuck yeah, Inosuke. Let's eat him. Calm down, the food ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Replay that shit. Sanitsu just keep getting violated, and I'm all for it. Yeah, they really got messed up. Release the beast. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, that will never not be freaky. This is too much information for poor Inosuke. The only time this man drew his sword was because of Nesuko. Simp. And now it begins. Run, Nesuko, run! Tanjiro is not having it. Lord, have Yo, you. Senitsu! You never told me that you were walking around with all that cake! Where is Inosuke? Just vibing. I think homie just fell in love. Watch out! A wild boar is loose. Nesuko, I think it's just better to go back in the box. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Wait, this goes hard. Yo, Inosuke, let's just leave this man. Bet. That boy definitely dehydrated. Here you go. Oh shit, they didn't lie in the commercial at all. So we have Spider Lolly, Spider Boy, Spider Mommy, Spider Woman, and the fucking Hulk. Yeah, he's out of here. This feels awfully familiar. Damn, this is worse than expected. It's time to whip out the Hashiras. Meanwhile. You good? Homie has just been sitting here not moving one bit. And now he's having a full-blown argument with a bird. Wait, he took Nesuko? Looks like shit is about to go down. Well, that's just uncalled for. Like everything else he does. They all be doing some crazy first traps. Like this boy know exactly what he's doing. Oh, look, it's Spider-Boy. I know that hair is crusty. Get him, Inosuke. Homie be having an inbuilt milk finder. God, I wish that was me. Okay, don't get me wrong, she's really bad. But what is wrong with her toes? So from what I understand, this man is a whole snitch. Gonna tell dad and everything. She be out there using people like dolls. That's some next level backseat gaming. But bro is always one step ahead. I guess we have to check up on Sinitsu. Yeah, no. So now we just be fighting whole ass zombies. But this shit too easy. So it turns out that the spider milf wanted to die. Yeah, I would also want to die if this was my kid. Oh, now he's mad for some reason. Hello, how are you? Oh, hell nah. Get out of there. My name is Barry Allen. Of course he ran in the wrong direction. This is the real Spider-Man. Get it? Because, you know, he's Spider-Man. Spider-Man.
Look at my man, you're spinning around. Yeah, he got bit. This gonna be you in a couple of minutes. Around 5 p.m. I want you to guess how homie got his yellow hair. Time over. Sleep break. And now watch him go crazy. Oh my god, Sanitsu, I love you. Oh my god, Sanitsu. Sanitsu, I love you. Shut up. We only hate Sanitsu here. These three are about to end their whole family tree. Ooh, their brother's floating. Look at that hair swing. He definitely fucked when he was young. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Still left homie flabbergasted. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet! This dude hella strong. Yeah, let's drop a whole ass tree on him. He took getting high to a whole new level. Senisu still chilling, doing absolutely nothing. Is that God? No, just Shinobu. Yeah, he looks fine to me. Wait, why is she bleeding? Someone call Child Protective Services. Inosuke is still going at it with Big Man over here. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we got to go through it. <laughs> Homie can't believe his eyes. Damn, he ran away. To be fair, this man is scary. Oh, he wasn't scared. He just needed time to evolve. I think it's time to retire. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. He's a fake spider, but he'll still be toying with poor Inosuke. About to crush him like a peanut. Oh, look who finally showed up. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tanjiro got his sword snapped into. Oh my god! Looks like he found himself a new idol. I don't know, kinda kinky. <laughs> Why are they both just standing there? Look at homie, he's one centimeter away from T-posing. Oh, this man tripping tripping. Giving away Nezuko is a no-no. Yep, hearing that made him resort to kidnapping. She does not look happy up there. Yo, Tanjiro, I think it's time to call it a day. <laughs> Never mind, go crazy. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nezuko really hit the ground like a bag of rocks. <laughs> this guy was just pranking you. Homie never died. And he's super annoyed, you better watch out. Bruh, this guy again? This man always pulls up, do the job and then peace out. Like that was just straight up disrespectful. Yo, this man too OP. Demon shawty can't believe it. Let me introduce you to the fam. We have Bold Cut Girl, Emo Boy, This Brat, Spider-Man, Bangs, Milf, and Hulk. We like to drink with demon, cause demon is our mate. And when we drink with demon, she- Oh my god, how strong was that joint? So they about to escape. Nah, she betrayed her? And let her burn? Someone get this lady. Oh, right in time, Shinobu. Good observation. No get her ass. Okay, now she is doing too much. Looks like Shinobu doesn't mess with Nezuko. Going straight for the kill. They just be bullying my poor man at this point. Yeah, it's time to run again. Can never catch a break, can you? This turned into a full-on chase mission. Another one? How come they show up after the hard work is done? Lazy pricks. Get played. Yeah, it's time to go, Nezuko. I say right foot creep. Damn. I wish that was me. Bro. Oh, she about to get her. No, she got played again. And what is going on here? She didn't even hesitate. Man's face would be gone if it wasn't for this bird. She finally got to chill out. Everyone wrapped up and ready to go. Even the small spiders. Look at them. Yo, how did we get here? And who are these people? Okay, so we have Donut, Sound Guy, Some Kind of Radish, Brock, My Current Mood, and Snake. Bro, this chick is in love with everyone. And who is this? He be holding Nezuko like a... Like a... Like a... Bruh, this girl. This shit is about to turn into boyfriend boyfriend. There is no hesitation in this man. But I have to remind you, don't mess with Tanjiro or his family. Well, at least what's left of it. <laughs> to be fair, I would have loved to. Looks like the boss is here. You know, the first time I saw this man, I didn't understand that he was blind. Like, this man is clearly blind. Rocking no pupils and everything. Is that Brem and Brem? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Get up! It's time for Nesuko's trial to see if she fancy humans or not. Oh, I don't know. She looking kinda hungry. Hey, yo, this man is crazy. I'm not even gonna question the things he does anymore. Yeah, she didn't want any of that rank as blood. Talk about public embarrassment. How is this girl a Hashira? Yeah, get him, Nesuko. Fuck, I wish that was me. Just because his head is hard doesn't mean you can use it as a boxing bag. Bruh, it was so peaceful. No, 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 fuck no, no, fuck no, hell no. Yo, when did Inosuke become a chain smoker? We need more people like this girl. Oh no, homie spoke a bit too much. Yeah, he's out. Training? Didn't they like break six ribs, two legs and like five arms? What kind of training is this? They even got Inosuke's mask messed up. Okay, so we're straight up just violating them. Looks like Senitsu has something to say about this. Yeah. Yo, what happened? When did Sinitsu become a badass? 
So basically, this man just wants to touch Leo Ghost. <laughs> so we're trying to hold total concentration breathing around the clock, and it could go better. Ah, it's so peaceful up here. There is no way I'm gonna get disturbed. Yo, Shinobu, back up. Go told me blushing and everything. <laughs> That's nothing to ask a lady. You fumbled the bag so hard. Tanyuro is going ham with his training. Time to do some good old gold blowing. So the rest of the boys tried it. <laughs> yeah, that shit is hard. Let homie explain. <laughs> Thank you, Tanjiro. Very cool. The easiest way to get Inosuke to work is to insult him. Oh, your mom, man. Bro, homeboy has no filter. Oh, homie is back. Times two. That looks like a knife. Wait, it is a knife. Yeah, don't mess up your sword, so this man will kill you personally. Looking good. <laughs> Are we surprised? To be fair, it looks cooler now. What in the whole Harry Potter is this? Is that Musan, the ultimate crossdresser? You know, I wouldn't mess with MJ like that. Can't say I didn't warn you. So this guy was the only one that survived. And he is not mentally stable. That is the peak of a menace. Even got Tanjiro looking sad. It is the guy from before. That makes sense. Yeah, that's a wifey right there. Just me and the boys doing some blowing. Imagine getting told off by grade schoolers. Why ride a train when you can become one with it? That's at least what Inosuke thought. Now you've done it. The popo is after you. And there they go on their next mission. Isn't it mad how Senitsu- <coughs> I'm sorry. Isn't it mad how pussy ass bitch boy is the normal one right now? Had to drag our boy and his thick ass outline out of here. Excuse me, just passing by. Excuse me, stop! And here is where we get introduced to a certain flame hashira who likes to scream out his opinions on things, preferably in public. How does Inosuke always end up in a goofy ass position, bro? <laughs> Bitch, how many of them joints did you finish? Does all your nutrition go to your eyebrows? Cause god damn, we need a head streamer over here. Yeah, we are still not sure if this guy is mentally stable. But after some back and forth, he does the fucking pat pat in combination with these devious ass side eyes. I don't even know what feeling he's trying to convey. But they sit down and... Yo, Senitsu, can you please get a hold on your mans? Thank you. As I was saying, they sit down and have a heartfelt dad to son conversation as this man has daddy issues while homie just don't have one. But for some reason, Rengoku is locked in on something off screen because he ain't keeping eye contact. Maybe Tanjiro just have some foul ass breath, man. And here is where homeboy trying to figure out how he did his old, but Rengoku not trying to share that information. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss, ya dig? So the reason why he even is here is because people just be disappearing and shit, and it's probably because of some freaky ass demon. <laughs> Bro, homie done fucked up with this job. Haven't seen his wife and kids in years. Aww. This show really doesn't care about getting down to biz. No animation, no nothing for this motherfucker. But this is still no match for Rengoku, as he cooks his ass in seconds. But then Daddy Longlegs comes out to play, and Inosuke thinking it's his turn to clap some cheeks, runs in head first, only to get put on his ass by Flame Daddy himself. Clean that shit up as well, let's go. And after Deadass cooking two demons, these three jump straight on homeboy's dick. Like, god damn. This man saved your sister and your ass, but he ain't got shit. Like, Senitsu got so excited his fucking overbite got off the bench. You even got Inosuke meat munching, that's crazy. So apparently I was right about his ass not seeing his family cause them motherfuckers are 6 feet under while homie has lost his mind talking to a walking hand. But this hand on some demon shit and put this man in a genjitsu and moves on to gaslight some children into committing third degree murder. Like fuck me, homegirl in the back ain't even woken up yet. Yeah, I forgot to mention but the squad is dead asleep. But this ain't no normal dream. Nah, they got put in their happy place so the kids can wrap up their activity fast and efficiently. Tanjiro got to play high house, Senitsu on his honeymoon with an underage girl and Inosuke off the shrooms. Meanwhile, this is the demon behind all this and he's sesty as fuck, touching himself in a way that makes me uncomfortable. Your little pussy belongs to me. So basically, these kids get sapped into their dreams in some weird way and have to find their core and stab that hole. And the first one to be found is Rengoku, but he cold even in his sleep and put his gorilla ass grip around her neck. And now this bitch falls out like a bubbling ball just to cremate her brother live on the scene. Yeah, that makes Tanjiro's balls tingle a bit and he decides to leave the fam and fucking kill himself. Aight, it's right, time to get to work. Still clean with it as always. Of course he runs after the demon like the knight in shining armor that is. Fucking stupid, bro. Yeah, he hit him with some deep quotes that sounded better in his head and go crazy with his water dragon. Before one move put him to sleep again. But Tanjiro ain't dumb enough to fall for the same trick twice and packs his ass up, literally committing mass murder and the only victim is him. Yeah, now this cringe ass demon is fusing with the train on some weird shit. You can hear how disappointed I am in my tone of voice that this motherfucker just didn't die. Nesuko is out there doing more cremation and now these three start cooking until Nesuko gets put in some illegal MMA move. Thunder breathing. First form. Save my waifu. Wait, he can do that? Yeah, I don't know. And now Flame Daddy is back in action, fucking everything up, making this guy feel things. Meanwhile... 
<laughs> yeah, Tanjiro and Inosuke link up in one of the cleanest tag team duos we will ever see to finish this train up for good. Somehow we got teleported to the UK again, but they still clean shit up and crash the whole fucking train. Yo, your bitch ass alright? Where... Where the fuck have you been? Nah, you see me, I was just dealing with some of the female passengers, you feel me? Fuck, you mean you were dealing with some of the female passenger? You know shit is about to go south when there's 30 minutes left and the movie should already be over. Introducing Akasa, the upper ranked demon with his own theme song. And for some god known reason, he ain't messing with Tanjiro and goes straight for his skull. Hey man, you need to sit your motherfucking ass. God damn, split his arm in two. And here these two start getting into some verbal disagreement as Akasa wants to see our boy switch sides, but of course that shit ain't working. So he gets mad and pulls out his signature move already. They both get to work while homeboy still trying I guess I'd rank Goku to rat. Bro, we are so fucked. Just as it looks like everything is going downhill, Rengoku finally releases his ultimate and go crazy, but Akasa is also locked in ready to go. Rengoku coming through on some real main character shit, slicing up this ugly ass demon. Fuck, we might even win this shit. This failed art piece maxed out his regen stat just for this moment and packed my man up. My fucker got hit so hard he's having flashbacks. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. But Flame Daddy ain't about to lay down and die, so he try to take Akasa with him, but the sun comes around and messes up the whole scene. And now this motherfucker just runs away way with all these arms and a sword in his neck but he doesn't seem to care at all. Tanjiro not trying to act all big after laying there watching his gang die and he pierced him right through his chest but he's still cool and continues to yoga away. Yeah, now we get this tear fest where homie passes away smiling and shit while Senisu pulls up from nowhere with his girl on his back and starts talking emotional after doing yak shit for the whole sequence. You know, this is actually kinda sad but I didn't get to know bro so I don't really care. So the bird tells the rest of the street that their blood just got cleaned up while Akasa over here with Mr. Musan the third asking for some praise cause he done did a Hashira. You think such a simple task would please my hunger for conquest, thou foul demon? <laughs> what? Why are you talking like that? Shut up! I am Lord Musan, the greatest demon to ever walk this puny planet. You weird for real. What? Now we cool boss with straight. Fuck. All of you are so fucking stupid. I can't believe I have to do this shit after a thousand fucking years. And now Akasa gone out here beating the shit out of Tanjiro's blade because baby man is mad he didn't receive no praise from daddy Musan. So now we're back at Shinobu's place where Sinisu is still getting violated. Yeah, Tanjiro out here on a light jog with a hole in his stomach after he got delivered the UK special. Anyway, he runs into Rengoku's brother and dad and tell them that their mask got wrapped up and totally out of pocket, their dad starts roasting his dead son and then beats the shit out of his other one. Tanjiro tries to step in but ends up in the same position. Oh man, out there using his head again. After gaining absolute no information about this fire dragon, he heads back just to run into homeboy with the swords again. So these three start working on the craft, Tanjiro claps another lousy ass demon, and now this random ass man is just out here stealing kids while Mrs. Mute over here is trying her best I guess. Tanjiro goes to use his head again but this man ain't letting that shit connect. So apparently he needs them females for a mission? God knows what he's planning, but Tanjiro and the gang steps up and after violating her, definitely putting him on some register, the four of them are off. Y'all don't mind being sold off as women, right? Hey wow. yo! Yeah, we call it the entertainment district, but this is the kind of entertainment for your pocket rocket, ya dig? This 12 feet tall man with no eyebrows has some serious god complex going on. Even Inosuke couldn't say anything to that. Bitch become less rendered by the day. So they arrive at the red light district where even homeboy can get some play. And now these four having some secret meeting where Senitsu is conked out, Tanjiro just bullshitting and Inosuke devouring some food. But he wakes up after hearing that they got sent here to search for big man's free wives, but he put his ass back to sleep. Then Inosuke dropped this out of pocket comment and ends up in the same way. Looks like Usui had enough of this shit and decided to sell off the boys as sex worker. This is some real sorry ass character development as Inosuke runs off to get a glimpse of some bomb ass pussy. You know when these characters are glimmed the fuck out, they will never see the daylight again, just trust me. So Inosuke gets sold off and Senisu is still out on the streets having to resort to playing through fire in the flames. So of course our pretty boy Tanya is the only one to actually get shit done and even out there struggling to lie to get some information of Miss Beauty over here. Homeboy should be put in a slice of life anime instead bro. Now we are getting thrown back to the 1940s where this chick finally figure out that there's some funny business going on but she never got to live to tell the tale. This is how y'all motherfuckers be looking like when going to Japan. So here is wife number one being all wrapped up in some demon business. You see I was going to comment about her assets but I felt like that was just low hanging fruit at this point. 
where she can always hang her fruit in my face. But Inosuke already on the case, causing casualties in the process. Like, god damn, homeboy just wanted some puss. Oh Meanwhile, Sanisu ran into the damn demon, watching her bullies on kids or whatnot, and even he couldn't let that shit slide. Ends up getting messed up by a pull and shoot counter McGregor would be proud of. But it's the thought that counts. You take some to get some, you feel me? But this demon is no low ranking, bitch. Nah, she's out there dropping people from 20 feet in the air in her slutty ass get up. And let's not get this twisted. She is 13 years old, and I don't care about this. Chronologically, she's 100 bullshit. It's just a whole trap, and I'm not talking the good kind. After packing up the head of the house, she just strolls away and runs into the man himself. MJ. And this girl is like real down bad for him, and of course as the playboy he is, he notices and starts playing with a girl's feelings. You have been doing bits out here on the streets, I see you, I you see you. Me. Don't sleep up though, cause the ops be on you, and I didn't make you an upper rank for nothing, so don't disappoint me, aight? You got it daddy, I mean Lord Musan. I'm so wet right now. What? The episode ends with Sinistu rising up the children he tried to save, and then with some comedical ass cutoff gets wrapped up himself. <laughs> so now two thirds of the squad is meeting up, with Inosuke throwing up some gang signs. <laughs> How the fuck? Apparently Usui got carried away cause he was too horny and tells the gang to leave? But you know how these two are, so they start doing some investigation on their own. Tanjiro leaves the house after getting exposed that we already knew his ass was a man. She tells him that she is also leaving cause of marriage and stuff, but she didn't even have time to finish her makeup before she got done dead. Meanwhile Inosuke trying to get his drip back and cause up some mice on steroids. Yeah, I don't know man, but now he's ready to go. Usui however has totally switched sides going after random civilians just to get laid. Bruh, he's such a simp trying to rescue his wives and shit. E. So Tanjiro finds the demon with his vacuum cleaner of a nose. Hey, you let go of that woman! Yeah, here he start realizing that he might have bit off more than he could chew, but anyways, they start going at it while Nesuko is left on the sidelines. So her whole thing is that she traps people in her clothes to devour them later or some shit. Sophisticated ass demon, bro. So Tengen finally finds his first wife, putting him in a little better mood. Where is this demon at? Man, I need to do everything myself in this bitch. Yeah, he hears the sound of battle underground and decides to dig straight down on the spot. Tanjiro still trying to learn how to breathe and ends up getting beat the fuck up, finding out that he ain't built like that. But just because he's Tanjiro, he finds the strength to look back in last second and they go back to 100%. Inosuke is still trying to find the cloth he was searching for before. Motherfucker dislocates all his joints to do the worm. So he finds Daki's whole stash of food and some part of the cloth ain't happy with the intrusion so they start to fight. And by pure mistake he manages to save Tengen's two other wives but they don't get along on rendering Inosuke all over again. And here is the first time I have seen Senisu locked in from the start and clear the whole house. Okay, he's kinda cool. How did it take that long to get here? You started digging at midnight! Anyways, he takes a hit and cleans up the rest. Yeah, apparently he has been with this free for a long time. Bagging the whole village, she's actually crazy. But we could also just leave this one out. You know, two ain't that bad. How do you even get one? When things finally start going kinda decent for our boy, she gets some weird ass power up. And now a random NPC trying to act all tough, but Daki ain't playing these games and fuck up the whole street. This was the last drop for homeboy, like I know he about to go crazy. Grabbing her leg on some real demon time, just look at my man's face. Let's check up on the gang. Fuck me. Fortunately, Tanjiro and Daki are having some kind of political debate about pain and suffering, and you know this is serious when the main character ain't even blinked once. No way back to throwing hands when her boy pulls out this beautiful move. God damn! He is cooking her! Even landing a hit, but she's still on her bullshit, so he has to go again. Look at the moves, look at the angles, look at the nah. Fuck off! Learn how to breathe! And now she thinks she did all that after literally shitting herself. God damn! Nesuko comes flying with the roundhouse kick from South America, putting her face on hold. And now we we get this little flashback with Daki and Musan doing the adultery hey, while he tells her the lullaby about the demon that turned on him. And with that information, Nesuko gets hit with some trophy worthy slices, plummeting her ass so hard she had to go through puberty and get some fresh ink on her body. Shit kinda clean, not gonna lie. Ooh, stomp that hoe back to the silver ages, marking that bitch like livestock. She made her make sounds that no man could achieve. Okay, Nesuko, you can stop now. You can stop now? Fuck, okay, this bitch gone mad. Where is Tanjiro? Thank you. And now Daki is over here all messed up spewing some nonsense. Where the fuck did you come from? Damn. Yeah, then he goes off a tiny row for not allowing him to add Nesuko to his harem. Hey, I'm right here, you know. The the upper rank six and shit. Fucked up the whole street and your boy. You even listening? Shut up, I'm not talking to you, bitch ass demon. Huh? Yeah, motherfucker was so clean with it that he put the cut on a timer just for this dramatic moment. Tanjiro wraps up Nesuko while the rest of the gang is still lost. Usui is out there talking to an upside down head until she finally had enough and brings out her brother from her back, which is a mad sentence, I know. Now we're having this lanky ass emo emerging, but hanging fast on his feet and goes straight for his neck. But not fast enough apparently, so he has to go in for seconds but ends up on the receiving end. Bro, I know this shovel shaped ass, dehydrated ass, I have a six pack ass demon ain't talking smack. Out there being 
mad that our boy looks better than him. Just wait until he hears about the wives. So they go back to doing their thing with Daki in the corner crying for some reason and now the real backup showed up with Sinisu still conked the fuck out but he's the first one to start cooking with the other ones right behind. This stunt turned to a whole mess cause now Tanjiro is getting his ass beat with Inosuke and Sinisu over here working overtime. Usui is still over here with itty bitty ways throwing haymakers like god damn they are all cooking up a feast. Tanjiro managed to defend Usui after a fat hit but gets pushed back 2 seconds later cause he's in the way. Tengen pulled out his own firework arc and Gyutaro is still smiling acting like he the main character. Yeah! From the sidelines this ain't looking that cool. But fuck that, now one of the wives pull off with the third party and unloads the whole arsenal on their ass and now Tanjiro try to come in with the steal but ends up getting floored again. They be ruining the whole flow when they cut to these calm and peaceful moments. Cause now we are back to this life or death situation where Gyutaro just got his legs back and decides to eliminate this bitch instead. Tanjiro hears the sound of her yaw break and that evokes some kind of feeling in him cause he should not even be moving right now. But somehow we managed to mix and match his breathing styles to make this beautiful ass water fire dance to save her skin. And here comes Tengen trying to finish the job but somehow he managed to block that shit and take homeboy with him. Yeah now all three are back together and start working as Tengen is doing his shit down on the ground. The link up is crazy, makes a man happy to see. Now Inosuke finally lands his blades and start to saw that bitch head right off. But now he out of pocket again, cashing the head mid air like he about to dunk that shit but he just grabs it and runs off. Actually kinda smart for once. Damn! Nah, he got gone! And he too? The whole block as well? It's done! You know when the flashbacks start kicking in, some stupid bullshit is about to go down. Gyutaro is back to appreciate his work while Daki is just watching this all go down. Actually trash talking him to his face, I would not let that slide. And here he goes off just bragging that he fucked up his whole clique with Nesuko still dead asleep. He gives him this goofy ass laugh, <laughs> pet him like a dog and then breaks his fingers? This is on some redo of a healer kinda messed up. Yeah, Tanjiro ain't dealing with this shit and runs away with his box. Like we have passed the stage of disrespect because this is far more than that. Ain't no way you lost to a man built like this dog. <laughs> you ugly piece of trash. Motherfucker thought you could step to me in my blood with your sorry ass gang. I. What? I. Fuck you saying, speak up. I have been waiting for this moment. What do you mean? Ah. Yeah, Tanjiro, fuck him up. Get his neck, boy. And now Senitsu is back on his shit, putting Daki on the back foot. Ooh, here comes one-handed Tengen back from the dead, rocking that Zoro style, going back head to head. They are going bar for bar in this bitch, with this man still trying to do some damage. And now to the cleanest squad wipe you will ever witness, with Inosuke back from the lobby, teaming up with Sleeping Beauty to finally finish it off. Oh, fuck, I'm dying. These three somehow just sat and watched this all go down. Like, they know their ass is useless. Hooray! Tanjiro is logged out and Gyutaro is unleashing self-destruct, but it's all good cause Nezuko. Yeah, now we get some backstory no one cares about and now they're off to find his crying pussy ass bitch. Homie finally woke up and I hate him already. Inosuke is done messed up but with some more cremation he's back online. Tengen is a little more fucked and he has to listen to these three argue before meeting Rengoku. Yeah, no one really knows how this shit works. It's a whole ass miracle. Let's wrap this up with these two still going at it. So the last season ended with the gang all on 1 HP, but they're still vibing while the blind master got too excited and started bleeding out. Of course, Mr. Musan didn't like the fact that one of his gang got packed up by a group of teenage boys and a child, so he put in that emergency meeting, but Akasa doesn't seem to know where he is. What the fuck? I was just home reading the fourth volume of Women's Rights for the third time and now I'm here? Fuck man, I was just about to get to the good part too. Why does Musan always do this shit? So I Akasa arrives while this bitch is still out there playing her trash music and now we are introduced to the first dickweed of this season who is this nasty ass dude in a pot. Homeboy felt a little goofy too so he switched the placements of his eyes and mouth. Mouths? This motherfucker got two mouths anyways. They try to do a cool introduction slide for him but there's no redeeming qualities for this man. And here is the second dickweed who's just a whole pussy ass bitch with the biggest cyst I have ever seen. But it seems like he's in a gang or some shit cause he be throwing them things up. You didn't forget about me did you my little cutie patootie Akasa? Oh my god dude. That would make me really really sad. Don't touch me. How have you been my little cranberry? <laughs> So this Sesko Doma is the upper rank 2 which means he's a better dick rider than Akasa and he makes sure he knows that fact. He even managed to weird out the man with no hips, that's crazy. And then he dropped this out of pocket comment like he has some serious beef with Akasa. Say what again, I dare you, I double dare you motherfucker. That shit was so smooth that the cameraman have a problem knowing where to look. Yeah, he just attack on Titan that shit and apparently the upper rank 1 has been here the entire time too, just sitting here alone, dick in hand waiting for Musan. And speaking about Musan, here he is in his crack lab, cooking up some real good stuff if you know what I mean. Yeah, now he's angry for some reason and snaps at his co-workers and even beheads the pot guy, but he's too horny to be felt up by his daddy, so that doesn't work. Yo, Musan. 
What the fuck are you doing? No, these two are on the way to Merc the Swordsmith Village, and of course, these light skin want to come with. Fuck out of here with your bitch ass. Musang gave you orders, didn't he? Oh, God, so. Fuck, I should have quit smoking. So this butterfly-eyed big boy is the upper rank one Coco something, and he's a scary ass dude. Even got Akasa to cooperate. Anyways, he disconnects, and now we're back to our homeboy Tanjiro, who looks totally messed up. Boy, ain't no way, boy. He has apparently been offline for two whole months after his scrap with sticks and twigs. Look at everyone being emotional and in line with their feelings, uh. So the rest of the gang seem to be okay, with Sinisu already out on a mission, and Tengen just straight up walked home directly from the battle scene. Inosuke seemed to be a little more critical than the rest because of the extreme stabbing he received. Okay, then I must really be tripping because I see him stuck to the ceiling. You really thought a man that can relocate his organs would die? <laughs> nah, he was back on his bullshit a week ago. It took him about 10 seconds before he started something. I think we would be better off if he didn't wake up. After 16 broken bones, 23 severe fractures to his skull and losing one arm, Tanjiro is back on his feet after only one week. The plot armor kicks in for this dude even when he's not in danger. Inosuke already pissed out and Senisu is still not back fortunately. If that motherfucker was in this season, you would never have seen this video by the way. Big up all the Sinisu haters out there. Homeboy, however, still on his rehabilitating journey, gets a letter from the guy that has been his biggest op since season 1. Haganezuka, aka the guy that makes his swords. This is the type of shit they found by the Zodiac Killer. Anyways, to get a new sword, he has to go to the Hidden Leaf Village. Oh, sorry, wrong anime. The Hidden Swordsmith Village and talk it out face to face. And this village is like super hidden, so he has to wear both a blindfold and nose plugs because you know he got a nose. So we make it to the village safe and sound, but I don't even know if this counts as a village because there's like 8 houses in total with about 12 people living here. Anyways, he thanks the chick and heads out. Meanwhile... Whoa, 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 hey, hey! So he meets the leader of this village, who's this microorganism, and now this lousy side character is showing him around. And this way leads to the hot springs, the only place in this village where you can find bad bitches. Ah, yes, thank you very much, sir. This place has helped me many times with my hemorrhoiders. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at him being respectful or whatever, but either way, this is one of the Hashiras of this season. Yeah, you get two this time around, but this one is the one I relentlessly bullied in my first video. And I have no reason to stop, so if you like this chick, strap in. Or maybe strap on, I don't judge. Anyways, now he's finally about to soak up in the hot springs, but he gets a fucking tooth thrown to his head, and guess who it is? The angry ass teenage boy who got his shit rocked by none other than homeboy in like episode 5. Tanjiro's still trying to introduce himself, but gets reacted on the spot, leaving him wondering what he ever did wrong. Bro, I swear this girl has the appetite of a small horse. God damn, calm down. And when did you two become best friends? Whatever, she whispers some seductive shit in his ear that must 100% count as sexual harassment and now he's heading out. I need to find that weapon Mystery was talking about, but where? Just give me the key, fuckface. What did you just call me? It's my mask and no, I won't give it to you. What is going on? Just give me the key, dick wrinkle. What? Yeah, Tanjiro is just watching a full-blown Hashira and a kid no more than 10 going at it before he pulls out the physical violence, which is a clear red flag. Tanjiro steps in, but homie's like, your voice is mad annoying. Who are you? My name is Tanjiro. Don't care. Weak ass. So this whole scream is is because Homeboy wants the key to the robot that looks like that one OP old dude, but the kid who somehow built it won't let it go. Tanjiro is doing what he does best and gets laid out flat again. Can't catch a break, can you? That kid is going head to head with the robot. She, he kinda good. And why does this crow have eyelashes? Of course he has to smash the robot, which makes Penis Mouth run away and cry, but with some motivation from our Homeboy, we go back and check out the damage. <laughs> Nah, just kidding, he's back in action, baby. But this kid is not satisfied and forced Tanjiro into a training scheme to beat Miss Boy. It ain't looking too good, though. His favorite position has been the floor for the past episode and a half. How is Tanjiro letting this kid treat him this way, dog? Looking like that one alien meme. But if you know anything about Tanjiro, it is that he will always beat whatever's in front of him sooner or later. This time he won in the most goofy way possible, but a dub is a dub. He broke that joint so bad a whole sword came out. Oh my god! Time to unbox this bad boy. Yeah, what did you expect? He's 300 years old. When talking about special swords, only one man will appear. 
The Hulk? No, it's fucking Haganesuka. He was not built like this before, bro. Anyways, he wants the sword and also some backup, small talk, and some more bullshit. He ends up taking it back to fix it up. Now Tanjiro somehow made it inside Genya's room, but that doesn't last long. Damn, she getting those Mitsuri braids. If you don't know how to braid, hit that follow button. Let's go. Ah, that was a refreshing bath. I can't wait to get home and cry myself to sleep because there are literally zero women in this shitty town. Huh? Is that a pot? Hmm, that's weird. I should totally reach inside. <laughs> he turned that motherfucker inside out, still with the mask on. Meanwhile, Tanjiro almost got suffocated by Miss Boy, and now we start becoming best friends before this Ebola-ass demon comes in from nowhere. Homie can't get his hands out of his ass, but Tokido doesn't waste any time and goes in for the kill, but he's fast as fuck. Tanjiro already pulls out the sound breathing, but misses, so Nesuko has to step in and demolish his ass. They are jumping this man, they didn't even give him a chance. But of course, this upper rank demon demon has more smoke stocked up because he split into a whole nother person. Tokido tries the same thing again, but this demon ain't dealing with his bullshit no more. Now we lost Miss Boy while Nesugo and Homeboy stand head to head with the now two bitch ass demons. Oh my god, bro. Why did I have to be teamed up with your ugly ass again? <laughs> bro, we look the same. Shut up. Yeah, he electrifies the whole battleground while Tanjiro is getting cooked alive. Okay, this is really bad. I'm getting tingles all the way down to my ball sack. I must do something. Wait, does that... Does that man have a blicky? This man Genya pulled up with the sword of shotgun. Like, where was this shit two seasons ago? Anyways, he beheads the two, thinking he's the main character, but they just end up multiplying again. Tanjiro gets kidnapped off the job while he tries to tell Nesu to go to help Genya, but he already passed on. Homeboy is still trying his best out there like, I got this, I just need to release my ultimate and... If I gave you all my love... What the frick? Motherfucker is the joy demon, that's cringe. And if you thought Homeboy died, he didn't because he's just built like that. But your Joy Boy is not done and is already going for round 2. Tokido is still trying to get back to his clique while he runs into this kid fighting this crackhead fish but he just ignores it, calling it a low priority and to be honest he's not wrong. Nah, he turns back and saves the kid. Yeah, so they team up while Tanjiro managed to slice up homeboy once more but that doesn't do shit and he hits him with a double speaker instead. If I gave you all my love. So there are 4 total versions of this one demon. Anger, joy, sorrow and pleasure. In other words, league players delusional league players and warm water in the morning yeah they continue to go back and forth while nesuko is over here with leaf boy while the angry one has apparently taken the role as the team leader because he's out there throwing shade to all his homies what the fuck are you doing kill that bitch oh you're making me really angry right now fuck out my business gang my name is literally pleasure so you know what i'm about to get into huh that shit can't be right well whatever i'm too depressed to say anything now this black air force fueled motherfucker pulls out his blicky again and just decapitates taste blue boy but he just rips out his spear that leaves genya critical when he starts chanting some magic spell to get a full regen he almost got his get back too but the team leader got to him first he did manage to get one last shot off that actually hits but in reality it won't do yak shit will it green boy decides that he's done playing around and puts a whole ass foot for a homegirl but you know nesuko ain't no bot either and comes back with the kick from hell deleting his whole yaw and she ain't even done yet now she pulls out her fire and starts cooking him alive while ripping off his arm and using his own leaf against him. <laughs> Meanwhile, this motherfucker has just been standing here talking shit the entire time. Don't talk shit, you pussy ass bitch. Yeah, this shit can't be legal. Blue Boy is still over here with Genya, who's trying to contact the gods, and it seems like he got some kind of connection, because now he's back online. Tanjiro somehow manages to crash right into the building while fighting Bird Boy and see the monstrosity that is going on to his sister. Rule number one has always been, don't fuck with his family or you will find out. Oh my god, Nesuko, are you alright? Here, let me help you. Good night, little boy. Uh no way, I'm a goner. Here comes Nesuko with her inhuman forearm strength and then throws some more fireballs at homie, but now this dude comes back from the lobby and just knocks them both out. Look at them appreciating their work like they almost didn't get folded by high schoolers. Meanwhile, we have another big problem in the city as these crackhead fishes are causing trouble. Like this dude is desperate to get some help. Now we're back with Tokido and this kid still running when they find another random NPC stuck in a tree. I swear, if he just removed his penis mask and used his knife, he would be fine. But anyways, this man actually knows where to get Tokido a new sword though, so now all three team up. Yeah, of course this potfucker is camping the sword and Tokido is out there like, Step aside, useless side character. 
characters. I'll handle this. So he's out there introducing himself while the city is low-key burning, but then Miss Radish finally shows up and saves their ass like she wasn't already two episodes late. And bro... <laughs> All these fuckers totally forgot about the task at hand because they are all looking. This motherfucker is over here like, ah, oh, white. They don't even care about their homeboy bleeding out anymore. Homegirl, however, is fucking up all the fishes and then just leaves. The chief is also in trouble with a maxed out magic carp literally squeezing him to death. But somehow she already there and just wraps up the whole thing. Like all bullying aside, she got a shit on look though with her sword whip. Miss Radish is scared for homeboy's life while he's out here like, can you please? Jigga them titties. Yeah, this side character also tries his luck, but if you have under five lines in the whole season, you ain't getting nothing. Hanyuro is back to what he knows best, which is running, but he just ends up getting blasted again. Now we in a big pickle. Big pickle? Why did I say that? Now the squad is in big trouble, but Nesuko doesn't want to let go of the blade. She gripping onto that joint so tight like she have abandonment issues. Tanjiro see these two walking around looking for their ass, so he start getting nervous. Nesuko, I swear to god, let go of my fucking blade or Sunny won't be able to milk this series any longer. <laughs> Gyoko is still shatting shit when he pulls out his masterpiece, which is this leaning tower of victims. And these people are still alive. Okay, that's enough screen time if I want to earn any money. So he's still taunting their ass while Marishiro had enough and go straight for the neck but homeboy can apparently teleport from pot to pot i don't even have time to commentate because this hashira don't fucking talk anyways gyoko start getting mad because he sliced up his face and pulls out finding nemo's fat cousins that unloads a whole stack of nails but our homeboy just weaves it yeah they turn their ass around and go for the easy kills instead Ain't no way, dude. No way the guy that was beating up this kid in episode 2 is now taking a bullet for him. This motherfucker turns so soft after meeting homie, man. Even tries to slash again, but ends up getting caught in literal water. I wonder what Tanjiro is up to. Going fucking crazy. Okay, let's go. Kill them hoes. Oh, he pulled out the sun breathing first from trauma on their ass. Oh, he clean with it. Let's go. Oh, shit. Genya is still alive too. How? We don't know. Even got one of the demons too. Okay. Wait, something ain't right here. Oh, hell nah. Let's just ignore the fact that Genya switched teams because now Nesugo and Homeboy is hugging it out like we already finished the job, but there's like five more episodes left, so they better lock back in. You eat all my beans, nigga! Oh, fuck. Okay, he's totally messed up. Anyways, he links up with Nesuko while homie goes off looking for the main body. These Powerpuff demons are so annoying, I swear. They ain't letting the plot progress. Here comes homegirl with those dirty white socks of hers trying to end Red Boy but gets impaled instead. It seems like Tiny Rose's second dose of plot armor kicked in because now the tables are slightly turning. Nesuko gives out another serving of cremation while Genya actually finds the main body in this small little bitch. No way he missed with a shotgun at that distance, bro. And he talked about wanting to become a Hashira as well. The Hashira of what? Folding? He eventually lands his sword, but this little shit doesn't skip neck day and snaps that joint in two. Even ends it with back shots, but that doesn't do shit. Damn, this is it for me. I'm sorry, brother, for being a little bitch to the end. Goodbye, world. Why is this taking so god I'm not- Yeah, we get a backstory for him now, and if you didn't know, he's the brother of that crazy white-haired Hashira. So basically, their story goes something like their dad was abusive, mother turned to a demon, and killed everyone excluding the ones that looked a little bit different than white hair had to execute her. Enough to cause trauma for a family of four, but of course he doesn't die because Mr. Everything is going to be okay is back to save his skin. Then about one minute later, he gets handed the most absurd ass whooping I have ever seen, like I can't even show this shit, but he tells Tanjiro to finish it up, and now we're back to running. I have no bitches, I have no bitches. Oh my god, he's really fast. But I'm not letting you get away this time. Flame on, bitch. Yeah, let's go. Cut that neck, boy. Oh my god, why is he screaming? The demon is back, fused together with the rest of the gang, and summoned this big-ass wooden dragon that almost ends homeboy if it weren't for Nesugo, who is somehow still walking. Yeah, Twitter will have a field day with this shot right here. Anyways, this dude is really pissed off, using hard words I don't understand. Motherfucker is cold for real, though. He's pure presence makes tiny and the squad piss their pants and because we got stuck with this goody two shoes as a main character they start having an ideology off and tiny is fucking cross-eyed yeah this is a whole mess meanwhile moichiro is still stuck in his squirt use and has no way to get out so he just gives up pussy 
Wake up. Nah, he gets enlightened by positive energy himself and decides to no kick the bucket yet. Mr. Portfucker has now made his way inside the shed and removes NPC number 24 like he was about to do shit. <gasps> now, let's see what's so important. Huh? Is that man really crafting a sword while his blood is bleeding out behind him? I don't like this. Pay attention to my beautiful vases! So he starts tearing into Haganesuka, but he doesn't bat an eye and continue working like he got bills to pay. Now this piss kid comes back and tries to get homeboy out, but ends up getting stabbed in the process. Okay. Fuck a backstory. Motherfucker's mom is hooping with Kobe after his sorry ass dad fell off a cliff while his pissed off twin brother got that dog kicked out of him by a demon. Now he's ready to get his get back against Gyoko and even managed to scratch him before he pulls out a monster fucker's wildest dream and crashes the whole shed. Homeboy goes straight back to sharpening the sword while Tokido turned the fuck up and uses all this season's body to almost finish him off. Like he was going crazy in that joint. Now this whole show turned to one of those roast battles in Wild and Out, but this is so one sided that it's more like a public execution. This man Muichiro is literally out there saying, it's not like I'm underestimating you, I'm just stating a fact. Too cold, man. He even went after his vase, which turned homie inside out, so he throws out another fish-related attack, but with homeboy already locked in, this is already game. Gee, I said already two times in the same sentence, that's crazy. But just as that one spider dude in season 1, Gyoko evolves to whatever this is. Now behold my true beauty. Oh, I've been waiting to show this off. Only two people have ever seen this form and they are both dead. Dead as hell. Isn't it totally the greatest thing you have ever seen? Say something at least. Oh, my bad. I was just thinking about when Frank Ocean is dropping. Yeah, Gyoko's straight on timing trying to box with Muichiro, but he just smoke screens the whole place. And what this man does next is so disrespectful that he should just be locked up on the spot. First, he gives him this devious ass grin, then walks up to him while still talking shit and cuts his head off clean like one of those satisfying soap videos. And don't forget, this was an upper moon he was fighting, like there's no funny business either, like he got a third form or something, nah, he is dead. Homeboy himself was running on pure adrenaline too though, looking like me when I wake up. Now we're back to this wooden dragon, who can apparently mix and match all the emotions attacks and blast Tanjiro with some more trash music before breaking his back and trapping the other two. He even got that Eren Jaeger treatment, except he can't turn into a titan, but he does have a big TD Hashira that saves the day by coming late twice in a row. Almost got my bingo card for out. But anyway, she tries to compliment him, but his eardrums literally got blown out a few seconds ago, so he can't hear shit. Pointing a sword that ain't hard at someone is not intimidating. Shut up, ho ass bitch. As I said before, this girl is too goofy to be a Hashira bro, but she starts cooking in style with all her love breathings, but right as she about to finish the job, she also get blasted with the same trash music Tanjiro had to endure. The only difference is that she did not take it as well. This woman is actually pretty strong. I never thought I would see the day. Don't tell Akasa though. Well, whatever. It's still game over though. What the fuck? As you know by now, I don't care for flashbacks, so let's just sum it up by saying that this girl was built since birth and embarrassed grown ass men, but because of that, no one wanted to marry her, so she joined the corpse to find a real man. And of all people in the squad, she shows the depressed e-boy, I- Anyways, now these four are all hugging as she starts spouting some nonsense about friendship that Shitanyuru has been preaching about since episode 1. Now everyone go back to 100% with Mitsuri handling the angry teenager while these boy scouts run away to find the main body. And there it is, lock in boys. Yeah, they start to slice and dice and Genya even starts eating that shit because he missed out on dinner while Nezuko comes in with the assist as they manage to slice it open. Alright dude. What the flip? Little Ho tried to ski that all away, but Tanjiro ain't letting that shit slide again, so now he's back to running. Fuck, I'm getting tired by just watching this shit. Genya? What are you doing? Genya? Oh hell nah, he be out there throwing trees now, what the fuck? He really dashed in, making Genya extra pissed off. And now we get another only Tanjiro moment, as this motherfucker learns thunder breathing in seconds. Oh my god! Sometimes we need to start questioning the things this man does. He even got a broken foot right now. Yeah, the demon becomes a little mad that his head is about to come clean off, so he grows a little bit and puts his nasty hands around her homeboy's face. Oh, pussy belongs to me. Genya finally arrives and eats another sound wave before Nezuko comes back and throws out some more of her blood that luckily saves the day. Homie now coming through with that last push rips both of his arms off. Better scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelet, nigga. Ooh, that brother 
Jesus floating. Fuck man, I tried to warn him that I see red when I'm angry. The demon not thinking the job is done run after some random civilians to get his tree cred back up while Tanjiro got stuck in a tree somehow. Moichiro who has been absent for 3 episodes come back and hooks him up with a new sword. Without Taganesuka's permission, of course. Now he mixes thunder breathing with his sun breathing like he wasn't ridiculous enough and goes crazy. I'm about to lose my voice right now, but if I weren't, I would be screaming because this is so beautiful that I'm almost shedding tears. Anyways, now a new predicament appears as the sun is about to come up, but Nezuko is still wide open. And just to pour more salt into all the wounds, the demon didn't die because it wasn't his main head. <laughs> Head. This is a whole mess. Tanjiro is getting a panic attack, Genya is about to fall off the cliff, and Moichiro is taking a nap. What the fuck should he do? No, Nezuko. Yo, that's my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tanjiro now realizing what he has to do is both locked in and pissed off, but he don't care and blows his brain so fuck him up, Tanjiro. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's going crazy, let's go. It's not that weird that his body finally gives out after all this bullshit while someone I assume is Genya is walking all drunk towards him after not doing shit to save Nezuko. No way. No way, right? Shit on my front porch, her ass is alive and even regained the ability to speak. I wonder what the first words is gonna be. Hey yo, Oni champ, pull up. Misery was also on her way out, but just in the nick of time, he gets snapped away. Yeah, they all reunite and hug it out before Tanjiro leaves the village to head back into a coma again while the villagers are working overtime to get their houses back. What a wholesome ending. Excuse me, Mr. Musan. We bring some tea. Oh, wow. What a mess. You need to start taking better care of this room. Shut your bitch ass up. Oh, shit. I finally found someone that can withstand the sun. Hee <laughs> hee. I just need to absorb her and then the world will be mine. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha.